There we go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hey everybody. Lou and I wanted to come out here to the garden and talk to you about the most precious thing in the whole world. Yahuwah's name. And some people question one passage in scripture that seems to negate what his true name is, Lou. Why do people want to say, what is it, uh, Ahaya? Ahaya. Ahaya. Instead they think of, that's his name because of one sentence in the scriptures. Well, people weren't getting stoned for saying Ahaya. They were getting, they were getting stoned for saying Yeshua. And the King James Version says Jehovah, which is no J in the name. So the uh, people that despise or abhor the utterance of his name. They replace it with Aduni or Adonai, uh, Dominus, Curios, which all mean Lord. And going back to the definition of Lord, you get B-E-L, which is what uh, Aliyahu, or they call him Elijah. That's, uh, that's the problem at Mount Carmel, you know? So uh, anyway, in this new book that I wrote, it's basically about the stone the builders rejected. And that's his name. And the back cover explains the meaning of the book and what it's all about. And the cover, you can pick this up at Amazon. You'll find this book, The Fall of Babel. And what's going to cost We're it? going to have it on our website, too. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Torazone.net. Anyway, uh, I carry one of these with me whenever I can. This is the article that a brother asked me to answer the question, why are these people teaching? His name is Ahaya, and so I wrote uh, this little track that explains this is impossible. Are you going to show them the yeah. track? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had it folded <laughs> up. It's a four-page track, and uh, I, I just whipped these out. Let me show you. Yeah, show, hold it still. Yeah, hold it still. There you go. I have to coach him all the time. Oh, I know. It's okay. I was using it for a bookmark, and I, I keep them in my pocket too. Look. Somebody walks up and they say, what's his name? Well, well there's the Fall of Babel, Fall of Babel. article. It's and in both articles. It's folded up, you know. It's in both it's articles. It's in both articles, yeah. Good. But okay. it's in the book. Well, know. explain the explain why the misconception. All right. Well, Ejah, or they, they spell it E-H-J-E-H -E in this one teaching. But it's really based upon a phrase in Exodus chapter 3. In the Hebrew, it, Yahuwah has asked the question, and I'm going to read from the book just briefly here. Okay. On page 40 and 41, we pick up the tetragrammaton, which is a Greek word. Tetra means four. Grammaton means letters. Four letters. Ahaya is also four, four letters, but it's, uh, it's referring in Greek to the four letters of the name Yod, He, Ua, He. And uh, on page 41, the, the subtitle of the chapter is, This is my name forever. Now, Ahaya is insisted to be the true name. And it's not true. Because the letters Yod, He, Ua, He refer to, you know, the, the true name. And they say that it refers to B-A-A-L. But it doesn't. In truth, the word Lord re re refers to that name. Mm -hmm. B-E-L is the Hebrew word that means Lord. And that's what everybody's been calling it. Well, now here's what it says in Exodus, or Shemot, 3, verses 13 through 15 in the B-Y-N-V. It says, And Moshe said to Elohim, See, when I come to the children of Yisrael and say to them, The Elohim of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? And what shall I say to them? And Elohim said to Moshe, Ahaya, Asher Ahaya, which means I will be who I will be. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Yisrael, Yahuwah has sent me to you. And Elohim said further to Moshe, 
This you are to say to the children of Yeshua, Yahuwah Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Yishak, and the Abraham of Yaakov has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my remembrance to all generations. It does not say, Ahaya is my name forever, or this is my memorial name to all generations. It says Yahuwah, and it means, Yahuwah means I was, I am, and I will be. That's a translation. That's not his name. The translation is not his name. But in the King James, there's a question that he says, have they, they haven't known me by my name. Is that what it really says? Well, that's in another place, in another situation, because it says, uh, and by my name, Yahuwah, was I not known to them? That's the correct translation. It's a question. And we understand that they were using the name throughout Scripture from Genesis chapter 2 onward. The name is printed there for everybody to see. And in Psalm 102, verse 3, it says, This is written so that a generation yet to be created will call upon the name of Yahuwah. And the name of Yahuwah is written 6,823 times in the well, you find it in the concordances, you can count them, which I've done. And the name Ahaya, or it isn't a name, it's a verb. The verb Ahaya, I will be, not I I am that I am. It, that's not that's not even used as a name. It's a verb. You, you know what? Something just came to me and struck me. Isn't it exciting to know that 400 years of captivity, the, the Israelites never forgot his true name. That's true, yeah. Well, Moshe's, Moshe, Moses, that's what they call him. His mother, his, her name was based upon the name of Yahuwah and many other words and prophets. Uh, it says that, well, people that don't want to say his name, they say, well, it's so set apart. We shouldn't be using it in a common way. But Yahuwah says in what is it, Zechariah that we're, when he comes and establishes his reign on the earth, the bells of the horses and the pots that are used for cooking are going to have his name inscribed on them. <laughs> and that's a wonderful day to look forward to. Everybody will know his name. And the fall of Babel, the thing that's going to cause it is his name because people are if they read their preface, it says the translators installed a device in place of the name, the four letters, and they call the name, the name in, in print L-O-R-D, which is a reference to B-E-L. Is that, is that helping? I think that's helping. All right. I wonder if Whistles wants to add anything. Got any Whistles? Our birds are over here. They're on the other side, and they're really excited. But I think we need to bring this to a close. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Oh, Remember thank you. Remember to like and share. Bye. Bye-bye.